the goal of the team is to have as broad a scope of understanding about these media systems that we're studying, right? Because ultimately we're studying media systems. I'm at the School of Media Studies here to meet David and Leticia, who are part of the Public Interactive Research Team. They're doing groundbreaking work in the field of interactive technology, social justice, and storytelling. Leticia and I are part of the Public Interactive Research Team. We're interested in studying digitally mediated experiences in public spaces. That means that we go on field to find these examples of media, and then we discuss them, talk about them, criticize them or love them, or both at the same time, okay. and then design our own, too. Okay, so right. what are the projects you're working on right now? This is like something from, like, Star Trek. Do you know? <laughs> so the 8 Square is a community folk project that started in the 80s, mm -hmm. when people started dying of AIDS. Right. So a group of uh, activists in San Francisco started building this quilt, and mm -hmm. people would send panels. So this is pretty big. It must be... A foot the size of a football field or bigger? No, seven. Seven football fields. Yeah. And it's still expanding. Because it's a very important piece of cultural heritage. Yeah. And it's fabric. Like, it's not going to be there forever. So we and the University of Iowa, Michigan, and other partners, we're working on expanding their narratives. So, so you would actually be able to click on it, and then it would open up like a story or a film? Or, or audio, I yeah. And we, what we want to do is that people be able to enter their own story. So like right. you are friends with art mm -hmm. crew. Crowdsource it. Yeah. 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 So you can be like, so I'm gonna record a video telling how this person was important to me. So we're actually adding new layers of memory right. to the original quilt. I think that this is one of the only examples in the world of a technology that extends something physical, right? Because this this is so giant, it's yeah. you can't display it in, in one place then that takes on a new life. And this is actually something in general we're interested in studying, is how does technology extend narrative? For me, this is kind of like a, uh, an actualization of many disciplines that come together for in kind of like a common cause. It takes pieces from lots of different disciplines, but it's not exactly a database project. It's not exactly a design project. It's not exactly a computer science project. It's not exactly a media project. But it's these things that kind of like holistically come together in a place and in a research team where we're interested in studying emergent technology and emergent media. This is why it's a cornerstone project of our research group. What else is PERT working on? One of the kind of civic projects, municipal projects that we're kind of tracking um, is the Link NYC project. Yeah. And it's actually, they're gonna be 7,500 of these in the five boroughs over the next few years. So it provides free Wi-Fi for anybody passing by. Yeah. But where we're interested is these screens here are actually supposed to feature hyper-local content like that relates specifically to like the general area, right? right? So this is a giant public interactive project because also these screens are supposed to be touch enabled and there's supposed to be some interactivity enabled here. Mm -hmm. So we're interested in how the technology integrates with the neighborhood right. and beyond that also designing the content, right? Designing hyperlocal content, designing interactive, reactive hyperlocal content. And I think that this is a great example of how uh, public screens are pro proliferating um, through uh, urban areas. We're aware of the media establishment. We're aware of political establishment. We're aware of the economic establishment. And, and we, in one part, work together with those establishments, but in, we have the space here to make a critical statement. I think that that's one of the historic values of the new school, is to be a vanguard, to be at the front of that critique.